Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mint flips, where I'm a full-time eBay reseller, and every 100 subscribers there's a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win. I again have a ton of good sales. It's really starting to feel like fourth quarter's around the corner, which uh, it is tomorrow. Fourth quarter starts tomorrow. Over the last week, if sales stay the same way they've been over the last week, all the way through fourth quarter, which could happen, I'm not expecting it to happen, but it could happen. If they stay the same that they've been over the last week through fourth quarter, then I will make as much money in fourth quarter as I made in the rest of the year. So that would be awesome. That's actually about what happened last year is it was something like 65, 68% of total profits last year were made in fourth quarter. So if that happens again, this is going to be a great year. The kids will have a very Merry Christmas. Let's get to pulling orders. First thing going out is a RCA VCR VR 508. RCA, I haven't had to pull electronic off the electronics rack in a long time. Long enough that I'm contemplating removing all of them and taking them to storage. I'm thinking it's this one. I didn't see any other RCAs. VR 508, I think that's what I said. And because there's so many items today, uh, I think 22, not all of them have to go out today, but I have time, so I think I'm just gonna do it all. Okay, I was worried for a second. I thought I had a remote, but while I'm thinking of it, because I forgot a couple of times, where did I, see this is how long it's been. I moved them and now I don't know where they are. Is it this random bag way down here behind some stuff that nothing's ever, oh geez. That's exactly where it is. But yeah, I picked up at a garage sale a couple summers ago, like 20 of these new and package RCA cables. And that was a great pickup. If you're gonna put cables with a VCR or any type of electronic, just buy new ones. You don't want to sell an item that you've tested and it perf works perfectly with the hookups on your television and then send some junky cables that you found in a drawer with it and then turns out the cables don't work and then it's a whole thing, they send it back. Don't wanna deal with it. These are cheap, buy them in bulk. We'll go look for them at garage sales that are new or find them new. You know, if, if they've got the, the twist tie and they look wrapped like they're new, then they're new. You know, cause you buy new electronic, you don't put new ones on your TV. You just use the ones you had, but don't take the risk with used ones. But I, I have forgot way too many times. So I'm glad I remembered right there to grab it. 3149 plus shipping on that. I would not sell that again. And I do get, I guess the it's, it's about 50, 50 that I get pushback or agreement on larger items. I think it really just comes down to your setup and how much time you have because even though ebay is my full-time gig my full-time job i do many other things i do other things that generate some money i have other hobbies i have a family so the extra five minutes it takes me to pack that thing really matters to me and to some people it might not if i was still a bachelor i wouldn't care i'd be selling everything i could i could have some buddies over in the garage having beers and packing orders like it, it wouldn't it wouldn't matter but that's not what my life is so every moment matters to me every moment is already allocated to doing something so next up is a b1a vintage tupperware parfait containers b1a so that's this one and they are back here in this container right there. And I am liking the new Tupperware drawers and those right there, they're, they're little ice cream parfait containers with the lids. And then luckily the bases detach for easy shipping. And these bags right here, if you've noticed I've been using lately, these are, thank you to friend of the channel, Jen. She suggested using these bread bags, these great value twist tie bread bags for storage. And they're great because you get a hundred in a box. I think it was under $3, but maybe under $4 for the whole box. So super cheap, but they're very convenient for things like this, where you just for easier storage and making sure you don't lose one of the lids and I don't have to search for them. They're all together. So for that right there, 
$20.69 free shipping. I did have a 10% off sale running. Next up, it's a book. It's the best-selling book of all time. It is 1964 fourth edition, fourth printing, something, something. It's a Bible, but it's a, it's a decent one. It has, let's see, it's, so I'm more specific here. A chain reference Bible by Thompson, red letter edition with the red leather binding. And for that item, I took an offer, $30 free shipping. I got that in a Mikhail mystery box. So I paid very little. And that is true. The Bible is the number one selling book of all time. Not specifically that one, but just in general, the Bible. Next up, I was very happy to see this sell. B2 is Bachman HO train set, train pieces. Uh, this was what I would call a bad buy. And I guess not so much now that it's sold. But they are some HO gauge tracks, um, three boxes there, and then a town church that I think has been assembled and disassembled. I got these at a garage sale. I think I paid a buck a piece. Uh, I didn't have, I remember specifically, I didn't have service, so I couldn't look them up. And I was like, ah, that's cheap. I'll, I'll find out. Uh, $17.99 plus shipping. They paid a ton of shipping. That's another thing I pass on. I, I just don't deal with it is train pieces. There's just so much of it. And the stuff that's high end is you got to know what you're looking for, which I don't. So it's not something you can look up quickly on the fly. So I just, I just generally avoid it. I thought those were cheap enough to go ahead and buy, but $17.99 plus shipping. I guess in the long run, yes, they were worth it. Next up, here's a real good one. Uh, they got a pretty good deal though. Godzilla Save the Earth PS2. And when I listed all the PS2 games right here, this was the best one by I think about 20 bucks. And original list price was $64.99 free shipping. That's complete. I think with the 10% the off sale I had running, 5849. Yes, a video game, 5849. I'll give you a good look. Watch out for this one. Will I call it a bolo? No, because what are your chances of finding that? Slim. Next thing going out is a hat. Detroit Pistons snapback hat with the vintage logo. Actually, I think they went back to the vintage logo. I never get to watch basketball anymore. It's been years since I watched basketball. The, the games are on too late for me. So I watch like the Christmas games and that's about it. Ah, uh, here we go with the tags sticking out. And it's new with tags right there. I, I actually, I'm going to get back into watching Pistons basketball specifically because they have a young team that if they, if they got the right people in place, I couldn't even tell you who coaches the Pistons right now. It's been so long since I watched basketball. I used to be obsessed, but they, they got a young team that's, that's going to be good for many years. So I, I'm going to get back into it. I'm going to find a way to find some time to watch basketball again. $28.99 free shipping for that. Next thing going out is a VHS, the Matrix Collection Edition. That doesn't make any sense. What's a collection edition? The Matrix, oh, Collector's Edition. Don't get my glasses on with bonus feature 26 minute behind the scene i want this jk uh but this is a uh, new vhs 10 percent off sale uh got 11.69 for that free shipping that'll go media mail 11.69 for a vhs is great next up on the desk is nike jordan maxon 200 in the gray and white i think it's actually this pair right here really helpful that the guy I bought his shoe collection from, he was so particular that he put pictures of them on the outside of the box so he would know what's in the box. That's very helpful to me. I didn't do that. They came that way. But for these right here, used, but so clean. $80 plus shipping. I did take an offer. I think they were listed maybe $99.99. Something like that. I didn't, it wasn't a significant offer, but I'm glad to see another pair of shoes go. And next thing out, out of all the sales today, this one by far makes me the happiest. It's on B4. It's a Five Nights at Freddy's B1234 flashlight. For two reasons, this makes me happy. One, this is the most annoying toy ever. It's a flashlight that, say you're searching around your room 
and then all of a sudden, after you've searched a certain amount of time, it will switch to making a noise, and then a Five Nights at Freddy's character will show up. So it's like a ghost hunting type of thing. I don't know, but it was very annoying. I'm glad that Michael decided to part with it and wanted to make a little money. So that's why it makes me happy, because for one, it gets out of my house. For two, Michael made a few bucks, and that sold $13.49 free shipping. So he'll get, you know, 10 bucks or something, which I know he will want to go immediately to Walmart and buy Pokemon cards, which I am happy to do with him. Next thing up, these are going great. Like I said, that I'm breaking even to losing money on most of them, but I don't care. It was dead inventory sitting around. And I think when the 10% sale is on that I'm the cheapest, because whenever the 10% sale is on, they are selling like crazy. A3 is Duck Brand Window Kit. And there's two of them right here in this order. And when they do order more than one, I actually do make some okay money because it still goes first class or if it if there's three of them, I think it gets bumped up to priority. But still at that point, it's cheaper than shipping each one individually when they're free shippers. So for the two of those, $21.58 free shipping. All right, and next thing going out, this item has only been listed for two weeks, maybe. And this is the third time it's sold. Glad somebody actually paid for it. And it is on A4, which is Vintage Italian Impoli Cat and Dog Decanters in green right here. Let's see if I can do this without knocking anything off or dropping them. And this was an item that, these were items that my dad asked if I wanted to sell for him. And I looked them up and I said, I sure do. And so listed them $99.99 plus shipping. And for the set, $84.99 plus shipping took an offer. And one of the times they had sold before, they sold for $80. So by someone not paying, made an extra $5. But big shout out to my hero, Ron Lowry on now, I know where things are going, international shipping through the global, the eBay global shipping program. So these items going international shipping to New Zealand. So the other side of the world, because $84.99 plus shipping, their total order was over $150. That's insanity. I, there's nothing in the world I want enough that I would pay, what does that end up being? $65 in shipping. Nothing, nothing. There's nothing in the world I would pay $65 shipping for. I, I, nothing. Unless the thing in that box I got to sell to make money plus the $65 shipping back. That's, that's it. There's literally nothing in the world I would pay that money in shipping. But for somebody in New Zealand, they did. And I'm, I'm happy for them knowing it's going to New Zealand, even though this is a, you know, a delicate glass item. I'm going to pack this up good anyway. I'm going to overpack it because it's literally the opposite side of the world. And I just, yeah. Even though you're, you're sure the normal way you'd pack it would make it, that's when you just, just do a little extra. Just a little extra. Next thing going out, it's a book. You and Space Travel. Of course, I got this big old thing in the way. This is a toy I got for Christmas when I was about 10 years old. Put it together, played it once. It was such a pain to put together. It was fun for the day I got to leave it up, but you can't have, you know, most places, you can't just leave your toy assembled in the living room for months on end. So it got disassembled also when I was about 10 years old, and I don't think ever it got put back together. I grabbed this out of my dad's attic last year and wanted to get it listed for Christmas last year, but just the memories of putting it together with my dad, I just, I, it's, it could, it might not be that bad. It might just be that 10 year old me was getting yelled at by my dad because I wasn't doing a good job or holding the flashlight right or something, I don't know. But Jen and I both aren't excited to do this. We made a deal that if we list this, it can be the one listing for the day. Because it's also, I think, a $250 item. And maybe, maybe we'll put it together and it's tons of fun. And we spent an hour racing cars and it's it's a memory for us. Who knows? All I know is for now, it's really in the way. And there it is. You and Space Travel by John Llewellyn. Went back and forth, actually, with the buyer. Because they were sending me offers where it's not worth my time or effort. And I gave him a significant discount, like six bucks off, $9 free shipping. It's a book. I paid nothing. It'll cost 
350 to ship. So I'm still making a couple bucks there. Next thing going out is Fable The Lost Chapters for Xbox. And not this one specifically, The Lost Chapters, but I think it was Fable 2 or whatever the second one was called. Might not have been called Fable 2. I played a bunch of that. And for that game right there, $9.89 free shipping. Next thing going out on A3 is a Duck Brand Window Kit. And now you'll see the stack back here. That is all of them I have left. So what I actually will probably do is after I pack up stuff today or after I turn the camera off, I will go to that listing and increase the price so that when the 10% sale, because I do sell some of them not 10% off. So I want to see where mine's at in the, in the if mine's the very cheapest. I shouldn't be the very cheapest because I continuously run 10% off sales. I should be 10% over the cheapest. So when I run a sale, I'm price matching the bottom. That makes more sense to me, especially now that they're selling like crazy. So 1079 free shipping on that one. And this item, I wouldn't do it on almost anything. But on this item specifically, I, I don't even bother peeling these stickers off. I don't care that they know what I paid. I don't, I don't care that there's a sticker on it. This is an item that when they get it, they're opening it, throwing the box away and putting it up. It's not a gift. It, I'm not, I, I don't even bother. It doesn't, it does not matter. If you got a complaint, that person is a crazy person and you should block them from your store. <laughs> Next thing going out is a game Quake 4 for Xbox. Is it for Xbox? Ah, Xbox 360. Here we go. Quake 4 right there, complete in box. And for that game, $19.99 free shipping. That's a good game. I even think that was maybe an offer, maybe full price. It's a dot nine nine, so that's that's probably full price. But still, $19.99 for a video game. I'll take that all day. This one I'm not gonna get out, but I will show it off. It is a 1994 Mr. Christmas holiday carousel. And it is, if I can move some of this stuff out of the way, pull this out without ruining the box. But right here, Mr. Christmas Holiday Merry-Go-Round. Bought this about a month ago, listed immediately. And what did I get for it? It was on sale, $55.79 plus shipping. They paid $47.67 in shipping but it is a US sale, so I will definitely make some money on the shipping. And then next thing going out, again, not gonna grab it because it'll be in my way. It's on D4, and it is a Nintendo Wii console right here with a one remote with a nunchuck, all the hookups with the stand. And for that item, I took a pretty decent offer, 10 bucks off, something like that, but $44 plus shipping. My thought was, for one, it's going in Michigan, so shipping was gonna be super cheap, so therefore I don't have to pay as much fees on the shipping. But then also, like I was saying, things are starting to ramp up. I'm not gonna quibble over a couple bucks here or there in fourth quarter. If it's close enough to a, close enough to something I would normally take, I'm not even gonna just take it. I'm gonna just take the money. I'm not saying you should do that, I'm saying that's what I'm gonna do. We did a push to get everything we could listed before fourth quarter, where I'm gonna try and get, we got a ton of new inventory, few hundred items. We're gonna do another push next week, try to really knock out some listings, cherry pick the very expensive ones, and then fourth quarter, make that money. Uh, so 44 plus shipping, still, that's pretty good. I know a lot of people, they just don't sell the hookups and they don't sell any games. They don't sell any controllers with the systems because you get most of the money that you would for selling just the system as you would with selling it with all the hookups. But then also uh, a lot of people, they have a special box. So you bubble wrap it, put it in the box, and then it will fit. If it's just the console, it'll fit into a priority flat rate padded envelope. I'm not doing that. I would never put an electronic in a padded flat rate envelope in my entire life. I'm not that guy. But if that's something you sounds interesting to you, a lot of people do it. Next up, this one brings back the memories. D5 is a vintage party of bears, uh, wall hanging, hat rack, coat rack for a child's bedroom. This was in my childhood bedroom when I was just a wee little baby. So yeah, some fond memories there. 
And when I went and got all my stuff for my dad's, you know, the last of my old toys, keepsakes, things like that, that didn't make the cut. It was hung up in my youngest room for about a week. And then I think it fell off the wall. So we said, nah, we're not doing it. And so listed it, $17.99 free shipping. I'd rather have the money. I'm not the type that's very um, nostalgic. I'm not that guy. I don't care. Life, life is linear. That's, that's a fact. There's, you're born at one end and you die on the other. So I, I don't, I don't do a lot of circling back. I'm just not that person. Next up on C2 is a Goosebumps lot. And it's a really good one. The books aren't in, a lot of them aren't in great shape, but it is, you know, one through something with some gaps in there. It's a, a fairly complete beginning set. I'll get you exactly which ones it is. Or maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's got like one through eleven and then a couple throughout with some gaps in between. But it's it's a it's a good goosebumps a lot. I did make sure to go through and check for first editions because some first editions are worth more, but your goosebumps hardcover first editions do not sell those in a lot like this. Look them up individually. Some of them are worth a ton of money. $33.99 free shipping for that. I think I sent out an offer. This will go media mail. This will cost about, I don't know, six bucks, somewhere in that range. And next up, it's a book. Listed this yesterday, less than 24 hours ago. It was yesterday after dinner. The Yearling by Marjorie Kinnon Rawlings. And I almost didn't list it because there was a ton of them listed, but this is a first edition. And it was one of those things where there was, these are made up numbers at this point, but like 40 sold and a hundred listed. So it wasn't a great sell through, sell through rate, but for me, I can be the cheapest. So I think I made mine like the fifth cheapest, something like that. $11.99 free shipping on that. And then next thing and last thing going out today is a duck brand window kit. And I, I wish, I wish so much that I was making more money on these because this kind of thing is the best. Chuck it in a poly bag, seal it up. It can get crushed on its way to its destination and the buyer won't care because the insides of that is one roll of double stick tape and a folded up piece of plastic. <laughs> if, the, if it came without the box, you wouldn't even care. Open the poly bag, good to go. So really great day of sales. I hope, I hope this train keeps going. I hope this is just tip of the iceberg as far as fourth quarter goes. If this is your first, let's tip of the day. And the tip of the day today is be prepared for fourth quarter. By the time this video comes out, it will be fourth quarter. You need to have 10% more packing materials around. You need to have, and this is just how I, it doesn't have to be exactly 10%. It's just, that's how I think of it. So whatever more you think you need, that's what you do. You need 10% more packing material, 10% more boxes, bubble wrap, poly bags, all of it. You need to allow yourself 10% more time to pack, to get to the post office. 10% more time of how long you think it's gonna to take to get there, minimum. Also, you need to pack your items with about 10% more care, 10% more pack material, 10% more tape, because this is the time of year where the influx of packages, they have new help, temporary help, the people that are working are overworked because there's just an influx. There's just a, there's, I don't, I don't know. I'd be guessing if I told you how much more is shipped during the holiday season as is the rest of the year, but it's a lot more. It's a lot more to handle. It's a lot more packages getting thrown in the same bins. It's a lot more bins being dumped in the same truck, all the above. So you as a seller need to take the extra steps so that you don't have to deal with returns or missing packages or broken packages on the back end. I don't know how any of that would help with missing packages. Maybe this isn't something I would do. I'm just spitballing here. Maybe if you're not somebody who puts invoices in with your package or sh shipping, shipping slips in with your packages, maybe for fourth quarter would be a time that you do that. I don't do it at all and it's never been an issue. I just make sure my packages are secure, but I, I know with 
every item from Amazon I order. Most things I order on eBay, there's a packing slip in the package. It just ends up in, in the recycling in my house and I never even look at it, take a second look, any of the above. But just be prepared because with that extra work comes more money. Yes, yes, this is the time. This is when it, this is when you make your money. This, this, is the, this is the good time. This isn't the struggle time. If you're struggling over the next three months, you need to reassess your business hard because this is the money time. This is when normally I have to stop listing because I need more time to pack orders. This is where I'm like, oh wow, I wish I would have done more in July, August, September, more listing so that I could be making mo money now. Well, that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, share, and be good to each other.